So let's take this Trek Pro Caliber 9.7 on its first ride. Quite excited as I've never ridden it before. And I'm going out with Jason and Vicky and they're both on e-bikes. And we're going to meet our buddy Alvis on the seafront for a little bit. He's on a gravel bike but I don't think he's going to be with us that long. The weather's pretty decent. It's pretty windy but it's sunny. So let's put this bike through its paces and I'll give you my thoughts and impressions. Oh. What new bike? Yeah, new another new bike. <laughs> it's my new Ratsy bike. Jesus <laughs> So the gravel guy is like screw the gravel bike now, yeah? No 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 the gravel bike's still going strong. I bought this bike a few months ago but I haven't used it because the weather's been so really? bad, yeah. Okay. So what good. is it? It's a Trek Pro Cra Trek Pro Caliber. <laughs> 9.7 though. No, it's probably not as light as your gravel bike, but... No, it's pretty light though. Yes, it's all right. This is my first ride on it. Oh, literally. Christening for it. We've just, uh, Jason just set up the tubeless tyres for me. Oh. We did it really quickly. Is this your new gravel bike then? Yeah. I like it, it looks really nice. Mechanical. Was that it? Yeah, sorry, mate. <laughs> well, we've we'll stopped for our obligatory coffee. We lost Alvis, he's gone home. And we're heading away from the seafront and up the downs. That is why I'm a bit breathless because we're going on quite a big climb. It's all been tarmac so far, still on tarmac now, but about to go off road. So put this bike through its paces. And I'll let you know what I think. Well, the first thing to say about this bike on a positive note is I really like this remote lockout on my fork. I didn't even know it had one, but this ride has started with a lot of tarmac, so it's actually very useful. And when they lock out, I know they're new forks, but they really do lock out. Okay, I won't do that again. I thought I was unlocking the forks, but in fact, I was just putting them on. So I was thinking, God, that felt a bit rough. I was hardly getting any cushioning and it felt very bouncy. Jason just went past and said, you sure you've locked out? You're bouncing all over the place. Well, the answer was no, I wasn't. But hey-ho, we move on. We're off road now. And so let's give this bike a proper test. Well, my early impressions are that I'm happy with the size I've gone for. I went for an M stroke L, a medium stroke large. I'm just under five foot 11. And yeah, it seems, seems about right for me. I don't feel it's too big or too small. So that's a good sign because it's always difficult when you haven't actually sat on the bike before you buy it, which is the case here. I haven't spent a lot of time on my seat height. I could probably fine tune that a bit. It's turned out to be quite a difficult ride this. It's very windy and uh, we seem to be cycling into wind most of the time. And I'm also chasing two e-bikers. Well, I'm about to find out how well this bike climbs. <laughs> Jason's taken me on one of the horriblest, steepest, <laughs> most brutal climbs of in the South Downs. <laughs> which is, oh, it's short, isn't it? It is very short. Yeah, it's short because it's so steep. Yeah. <laughs> well, I thought it'd be nice for you to know the percentage, right? So I'll put it in turbo mode, just sit next to you. And I'll tell you the percentages we're going up, all right? Please don't. <laughs> we're only at 7% at the moment. It's only little at the moment. God, that surprises as much as 7. Yeah. Oh, I just hope I can get up it. Here we go. I'll see if I've got enough gears. 18. 18%, yeah. Oh, 18%. Don't take it easy, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> look, at his, look how big his chain ring is at the back of what he was on. <laughs> Whose idea is to go up that hill? Probably more. I want to see you suffer a little bit. The guy on an e-bike yeah, yeah, yeah. in turbo. Do you, know Do you know how hard it is going that slow? <laughs> <laughs> and that was a super tough climb. I was down on my lowest gear for quite a long time. No problem with the amount of gears I got. 
that lowest one was fine. Yeah, I mean, well, seemed to climb well. I think the problem was the ride and not the bike. But I got up it, and that's the main thing. So, um, what do you reckon? All the way down? Down the winder, over the road, up the hill the other side, then back on the downs along the downs, yeah? That's quite long, isn't it? Okay, we'll go past where my crash was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to try and do it again? I'll see, see if I can well, do it. I think I want a better bike for it this time. <laughs> yeah. I did that descent on my gravel bike at the weekend, and that was brutal. <laughs> it really took it out of my arms, but that was really good. Footage there will look good. I was swerving around behind you. Oh, uh, yeah, no, that, that bike felt really good going down there. Yeah. You're not locked out now, are you? No. No. Last weekend, going down this section, I'm not quite sure what happened, but I come down quite hard. Come on, fucking get on the control, go on. Well, that was a little bit better than last time I did it. Sorry? I think it helped being a little bit more upright and the brakes were fine, so yeah, no flashbacks. So bike performed very well on the downhills, but you can tell it's a sort of cross country bike. I've only got 110 mil of travel. It wasn't too gnarly and uh, I was getting shaken about quite a bit, but that's the bike I chose. I want this cross country bike. I'm not sure about the flexibility on my rear uh you know top tube going onto my down tube i can't tell if that's helped or not anyway i want another major climb oh nearly at the top i've forgotten how hard managing biking is uh, it is definitely tougher than going on the road bit of a gnarly downhill now gonna give his brakes a good run for their money You all right? Yeah, Vicky yeah. just said she thinks my back wheel's a bit flat. So put it on and see what pressure we got. Got 17. Oh, it's quite low. Yeah. What did you run at? 40. Oh. <laughs> that nearly went really badly, boy. What a really good footage. <laughs> yeah, really good footage. Hi. Right. I was supposed to film Jason going down that really steep hill, but uh, yeah, I lost him. But the brakes did okay. I wasn't sure about the brakes when I first got on the bike, but this is my first ride, so I was kind of bedding them in. They're starting to feel a little bit more solid. And that hill is very, very steep. And I had more brake, but I didn't want to lock up, especially the front, so yeah, it's always going to be a struggle when you're going down something steep as that. Yeah. Oh my god, my brakes are not so good. I was like breaking, breaking, breaking. Oh my god, I'm not going to have one. Well, the thing that nearly got me was that vine hanging over yeah. the thing. It yeah. took me out. I come around the corner and I normally go wide there and zoom up. And I went around the corner and then there was a great big cut. Just... It's one of the steepest sections on the South Downs Way, isn't it? Really? Is it? I don't think, can't think of many steeper than that, that bit. Yeah, true. Well, we're on the South Downs Way again now. Heading west, so wind's in my face. Hope you can hear me all right. I'm pleased with the bike so far. Early impressions are, yeah, it's kind of exactly what I want. It's a cross country bike. It is not built for going down gnarly single track and jumps. It hasn't got much travel. I do slightly question the tires. 
these are brand new tires and look at the tread on them, it's hardly any so probably made for dry conditions which we don't get that much of necessarily in the UK but hopefully we should do now for the summer at least but the bike's also very light, feels very light as well it's got 29 inch wheels so it rolls well we're always a classic XC bike which is exactly what I wanted on another climb into the wind been doing a lot of that today chasing e-bikers but once I get to the top of this uh, climb on the South Downs way most of the climbing is pretty much done by then you're psychologically mate you're breaking me you're telling me <laughs> so all the big climbing's done and then go oh there's another one no so there's one last one to do that's what that's what they do in these you know these sort of communist countries when they torture people oh, they yeah. take them on mountain bike rides and tell them you're well done you've done all the climbing <laughs> and then they add another climb but it's not even a climb is it it's only a little one no i'm going that way <laughs> but why don't you go and oh, we'll... we'll meet you at the junction because it ends up the same place well i've briefly parted ways with jason and vicky oh, psychologically i couldn't do it i thought it was on my last major climb of the ride and he's adding in another one well while i'm on my own just give me a chance to talk about the gears the gear set on this bike is a, and I've got to say, they are fantastic. I'm really impressed with the gears, really responsive. I mean, it's a new bike, so it should be good. And it's been set up well, but yeah, click, click, they change straight away. Oh, look, they're already here. How embarrassing. How long have you been waiting? No, you haven't. So that hill that was quicker, how far, how steep was it? 24%. One negative I would highlight on this bike so far is I'm not sure about the saddle. It comes with a, and I'm not convinced it's comfortable. I'm feeling it a little bit already, and it's not been that long a ride. But I need to give the bike a few more rides to really settle down and see whether this kind of saddle is going to be an issue or not. But overall, I'm very pleased with the bike so far. It's only its first ride, but I did quite a lot of research before I purchased it, and hoped it would tick the boxes for me and my type of riding. And I feel like. It is going to do that. This is going to be my main mountain bike for the next few years, so I'm hoping it's going to turn out to be a good one. This isn't a full review. I will do a full review. Well, I will consider doing a full review in the future, but I need several months behind me of riding it to really know what I'm talking about. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.